everybody, it's the Lawn Gnome, and welcome to another episode of Out of the Vault. If you need to catch up, and believe me, you do, we've reviewed some great Disney classics since we started this little show. Take a look at the playlist in the box below. So, considering that it is July, and today was one of the hottest days that I had to endure, I felt that the right Disney classic was a movie that was summer-themed. And believe it or not, I had seen this movie for the very first time. It's the 42nd animated classic from 2002, Lilo and Stitch. I was, first of all, very excited to see it when it came out back in 2002, but unfortunately, I didn't get the chance. What I loved so much was the advertising campaign about the fact that this was the black sheep of the Disney family, and it had two Disney classic firsts. It's a movie about aliens. There have never been aliens in a Disney classic. And it was also the very first time in which the main character, Stitch, is a villain. He's a genetically enhanced, unstoppable maniac who just happens to end up on the island of Hawaii and find another person that is lost in the world in this little girl, Lilo. And with the two of them meeting, they realized that they had a very, very special bond. One who really wanted to belong, and one who didn't even know that he belonged. But meeting each other, they really discovered that their bond was strong, and that they were the reason that their family would be kept strong and together. What was interesting about this movie was a couple of things. One was the voice cast, because it featured some actors and actresses that you probably never would have expected to see end up in a Disney classic. You had Devay Chase who was a little girl from The Ring, who scared the hell out of everybody, Ving Rhames of all people, Tia Carrere, the great comedic duo of Kevin McDonald and David Ogden Steers, who decides to shed his good guy image from Beauty and the Beast Cogsworth to become the mad alien scientist Jumba. And of course you had one of my favorites, Kevin Michael Richardson, who has done so much great voice work, especially in the DC universe. He voiced the head of the military of the alien race, Gantu. And what was also very interesting was, at this time was when computer animation was king. Pixar had the bar high, and we all knew what the animation standard had to be. But Lilo and Stitch went back to watercolor backgrounds. The last time that that was used was a movie called Dumbo, back in 1941. And along with that, you had cell animation combined with digital animation to make this beautiful, wide-open, colorful film that takes place on the islands of Hawaii. It has great comedy, great action sequences, sci-fi related, which is another Disney first, but you also have some great heartfelt moments. There is really no major songs that were specifically written for this film, but you get a great soundtrack that is featuring the great Elvis Presley, some incredible classic rock and roll songs, and it's just a very warm story about these two unwanted characters that just realize that they really are important people in their families, and creating their own special bond makes their family strong. When I was watching the movie, there were points in time where I kind of was not happy about it, but as the movie goes on, I really do start to enjoy it. I laughed a lot, I really enjoyed the heartfelt moments in the end, and I really, in the end, started to love the characters because the character development was very, very rich and very detailed. And in the end, it really turned out to be an enjoyable Disney classic, and truly one that does belong, Stitch included. So Lilo and Stitch will get three out of four stars. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to reviewing another Disney classic in August. So I'll catch you guys soon, and actions speak louder than words.